Hello everybody, this is Black Stormy. I'm going to do a video tutorial of how to get your Blender animations from Blender into Overgrowth. So to start off with, we're going to go into our Overgrowth data folder and find your Blend Files folder. And in there you've got, these are all the rigs for all the animations for the uh, existing characters. You can make your own if you want, but whatever. So I'm just going to open up Turner Rig to show you how it goes. Maximize that and alright so as you can see we've got him, he's got his bones already but if you go into pose mode you're not going to be able to move anything because he's in his rest position. <coughs> so you go over to your little man over here, your object data and it's got rest position is, is depressed so click on pose position and it'll go into his little combat stance and you can fiddle around with him then. Make him do bum dances. Woo. Alright, so that's that's the, the rig. From there you can animate it. I've already made my own animation. Oh, that's not it. That's it there. Alright, so I've already made a little animation for the animal run. Um, now, when you when you've done animating, you're going to need to export your animation as the um, file that they want so you go into user preferences to install the export script and click on install add-on um, find your overgrowth data blender script add-ons IOANM and export animation install add-on I've already got it installed so it comes up with an error but then go to import export uh, and you'll see Phoenix animation right there so check that box and it's now installed close that window <coughs> now, the, uh, it's in, when you export this, I'm not sure how dodgy it is, but I've got some like religious ticks that I do because I'll, it's stuffed up for me so many times. So what I do is I have this action group here. I have that. Make sure that's selected so it's white. Um, make sure you're in object mode with the armature selected. Um, I think that's it. And so now I'm going to try export this. Go down to Phoenix Animation, uh, and make sure you put it in your animations, or you can even, you can put it wherever you want, really, because your XML file tells you where it is. But I put it in your animations, and I'm going to call it Tutorial. Anm. Make sure you put that Anm there, because it, otherwise it'll save without it. It's a pain in the ass. But export animate. All right. If it stuffs up, what happens is old matey will go back to his rest position and the bones will be gone and you have no keyframes anywhere and so it'll clear everything off the off the file so make sure you save before you export it because otherwise you can't undo it it just it stuffs the entire file up uh, yeah so save before you export and if it does go back to your rest position and all that then that means the export's not going to work and you'll get some freaky looking animations in the engine which is funny to look at but it's a pain in the ass so we've got that working Close Blender, save it before we close if you want to because Blender doesn't ask. Um, and if you go into animations here, tutorial.anm, good o. Um, so now we're going to go to our R stand movement, which is the current stand movement ex uh, running XML because I'm just going to replace this as a run. You can replace it as well as if you want, whatever you want. I don't know how to code it in, so I'm not going to cover that, but if I do figure it out, then I'll cover that later, I guess. But since they don't walk, they're always running because they're robots. We're going to just change that R underscore run. I'm going to cut and paste that down here just so I don't forget what it is. And I'm going to put in here tutorial.anm and save that. And now go and start overgrowth. I'm going to go to this one because it's a pretty level. Press 8 to get your bunny rabbit. Z and X to go rocketing down there. Woo. And there you go, look at that. He's got a little run going on. Now, because it's not coded in or anything yet, it's not gonna it's not gonna do all the other fancy stuff. Like it's got the ragdoll mat on it, but it's not gonna do all the fancy um uh, like like you can hear him on the normal run or on his crouch run, his noises when he's walking around, but you gotta code that in. But it works. So it's doable. So yeah, if you want to pre-order the game and mess around with it like I have, you can see I've stuffed up the maps. 
I got my little wolfy boy over here. See, the animation always also transfers to them. Whee! And Trent, oh yeah, anyway, so if you want to pre-order this game, go to wolffire.com slash pre-order and get on it, because it's good stuff. Enjoy.